Hello, darlings. It's me, Gert Baxter. Happy Halloween. <laughs> well, it's one of Gold Gert's favorite times of the year. I've got the pumpkins. I've got everything over here. I wanted to show you my beautiful display that I've got. Look at this. Look at my pumpkin. Isn't she gorgeous? I call a gumpkin. <laughs> I've got a cornucopia. Look at that, filled with gourds. And I'm all ready for all my little callers that are gonna come to the door, undoubtedly. Trick or treat, trick or treat. Well, I've got some nice candy for the little children. And, um, you know, for the teenagers, I always, uh, like to give them an option um, from my my airplane pickle basket. <laughs> you know, if they're over 12 or 13, I figure why not? They could choose something light, like a Merlot, um, or you know, a little something a little stronger, like tequila. You know, we gotta get those kids started sometime. <laughs> Am I right? Look, I've got a little swizzle stick thing here. Kids learn, you know, they need to know cocktail etiquette. And, and what better time than Halloween? So, um, and of, of course, for the parents, you know, I've got the economy-sized annex. This seems to be a hit with the mothers, mostly, let's be honest. Um, and for those who uh, don't want a treat, um, I, I show them a trick of how to light an opium pipe. I mean, it's good times, and the kids like it. You know, it's exotic. It's like, you know, learning about another culture. What do I know? Anyway, I hope that, um, you know, I didn't carve my pumpkin this year. Um, I don't trust myself with knives right now, but that's okay. A uh, little marker on there, my little gumpkin. She's, she's just adorable. <laughs> Maybe I'll take up, um, you know, being an artist. I thought I did a pretty good job. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy your Halloween and that, um, you know, there are no razor blades in any of the candy that you pilfer from your children. <laughs>